Welcome to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the process of downloading and installing the editor for the IK Multimedia Uno Synth Pro. So I'm going to assume for this video that you've got your synthesizer registered and you've created an account with IK Multimedia. You've also downloaded the IK Multimedia Product Manager. If you're here, go to Manage My Products. And this is going to give you a list of your software, sounds, and hardware that you've got registered with IK Multimedia. If you haven't registered your product, go ahead and click this register product link. That's going to bring you over to the registration page. You get that taken care of. That's how you get access to the manuals, the software, and the drivers. So under the software, go ahead and click the download button for the UnoSynth Pro Editor version 1. This was released on April 29th of 2021. When you click download, it's gonna download it to the directory you have specified here in the downloads folder. So when you do that, it's gonna open that directory up and you're gonna end up with a zip file here. Once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and unzip that file using just the Windows unzip function or using a, a program like 7-zip. Go ahead and unzip that and you're gonna end up with a directory that says UnoSynth Pro Editor 100. Go ahead and open that up. And then you're gonna have a second directory in there. Go ahead and open that up. And we've got three files here. We have the user manual for the IK product manager, which we've already used and downloaded to get the software here. We have the UnoSynth Pro editor version 1.exe. This is the executable. We'll get to that here in a second. And then you have the user manual for the pro editor. So this tells you how to use the editor, all of that good stuff. I'll go through this in more depth in another video here soon, talking about the different functionality of the editor. Um, but this basically gives you a software user interface that connects and syncs right up with the synthesizer. So you can change settings right from this larger screen, better user interface than using the tiny little screen on the synthesizer. So great little combo. I'm gonna show you how to get this installed here. I'm gonna minimize the manual and double click on this install UnoSynth Pro Editor version one. You're gonna get this pop-up that says Windows protected your PC, and you'll see your only option right here is don't run. If you're on a Mac, you might see something different, but go ahead and click the more info link, and then you're gonna see a button appear that says run anyway. We're gonna click that. It's gonna ask you if you wanna allow this app to make changes, click yes. And then we come to the install software screen. Click I accept the agreement and click next. Then click on next. We're gonna leave it in our C program files. It's gonna take just under 20 megabytes of space. And we're going to install all of these plugin components as well. These are gonna require at least 57.9 megabytes. Go ahead and install those. And click next, next, next. Gonna just take all the default install folders there. And then we're gonna click install. This is gonna go through the installation process, installing those plugins and the software. We're gonna click finish. The nice thing is with this is that we can use this editor as a virtual instrument inside a DAW. So if you go to chapter eight and look at the DAW integration section, it talks about launching your DAW and then opening an instance of the UnoSynth editor on an instrument track that allows you to then um, edit settings from your UnoSynth Pro right from your DAW rather than, again, using the controls on the synthesizer itself. All right, so once we've got the editor installed, you can find it by going down to your Start menu, and then it should be in your Recently Added, but if it's not, scroll down till you get to the IK Multimedia submenu. Open that up, and you'll see the UnoSynth Pro editor and the user manual right there. Go ahead and click and open that. So one thing to note is that I do have my synthesizer plugged into the computer via the USB cable that came with it. I also have it powered on, got the power adapter plugged in. And if your synthesizer isn't on, then just hold the hold button there and that'll turn it on. It took me a little bit to actually get it connected. So up here where it says 45 touch lead, it was just saying waiting for Uno. So if you run across that problem, don't panic. Um, go ahead and click this hamburger icon on the right. And then go to your MIDI input and actually select UnoSynth Pro. 
and go to the MIDI output and select Uno Synth Pro. Um, once you do that, I had to try that a couple times, close the program, reopen it. These were red at first and it wouldn't let me select them. So I closed and reopened and finally it let me select these. And when I did that, it finally loaded up the sound. So you know this is properly connected when you tweak a control and you'll notice I'm tweaking the cutoff control and it's tweaking the cutoff control in the software. Same with any of these uh, parameters here. You'll see the reflection instantly on the screen. Great interface here, um, but what you should see is your list of presets here. You can drop that menu down. You can scroll through all of the different presets. So it comes with 128 presets and then it's got uh, about that many custom presets as well. So we can click on any one of these and you'll notice that my synthesizer updated to the one. And then I could also tweak this knob here and actually affect So you can actually change parameters there. What's really cool about this is there's no menu diving like there would be in the synthesizer itself. You'd have to click on these different soft buttons here to pull up the parameters and tweak the controls. While we can do that same thing and it'll tweak the control here, you'll see that on the screen, it's all laid out here. Oscillators, mixer, filter, envelopes, LFO, all of that is right here. If we wanna to get to the matrix, we can click matrix and we can see what everything's assigned to. We can go to effects, drive, modulation, delay, reverb, all of that right here that we can tweak very quickly. And you'll notice as soon as I tweak parameters on this sound, I get this little asterisk that shows up beside the preset showing me that I've modified the out of the box preset that comes with this. We can also go over to the presets tab here and see we've got all of these hardware presets that loaded up. Again, if yours says waiting for Uno at the top here, you're not gonna see these hardware presets. So these are all of the different presets and then we could build, currently there's only one category called presets. You could add, you could import, uh, all that good stuff right through here. Manage your library um, through this editor rather than doing it through the synthesizer itself. Really cool. Some other functions here, we've got the pitch wheel, the mod wheel, all clickable and controllable by my mouse. Um, we can also play the keyboard with our mouse here, or you'll notice. So all of that right from this user interface. This is amazing. We could save and load sounds from here as well. So just a lot of functionality. One thing that I'll be doing, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss these videos, is going through the presets one by one, um, and I'll be doing them by the pages that you see on the synthesizer here, one through 16. So they are in 16 preset pages. I'll be going through probably 16 at a time in some future videos, going through all 128 of the presets that come with this synthesizer, sampling those for you, demoing for you, so you get an idea of what sounds come stock in the synthesizer. But really, I mean, as you can see with this user interface here, this is a powerful interface to be able to then go and modify or build your own sounds through here. And we'll cover that more in some more detail in a detailed look at the editor. But in this video, I just wanted to get you set up with it, downloaded, uh, installed, and then connected to your Uno Synth Pro. So I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments below. Again, I, this was a smooth process for me, except for that waiting on Uno where I had to mess with the MIDI input and output settings here, trying different ones to finally get it to connect. Um, but hopefully yours connects right up, no issues there. But if you've got any questions or problems, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Stay inspired and keep making that music. Mm -hmm.